Good morning, sweet ladies. Thank you for joining us in Far Above Rubies today. The last couple of days, I will be joining you for this year, today and tomorrow. I'll be coming to you pretty early in the morning, my time, so please forgive tired, puffy eyes. We'll have a couple of guest speakers wrapping up the year for us, and they're going to do a phenomenal job. And these last several days that we're going to talk about the life of Jesus, I want you to recognize the emphasis that is on others, on people in Jesus' life. He was always about and focused on people and those around him and serving people and loving people. That's who he was. But in these last few days of his life, you're going to see that emphasis even more on people. Today, we're going to talk for just a couple of moments about the betrayal of Jesus Christ by Judas. You can find this passage um, in Matthew chapter 26, verses 47 through 56. That's your reading challenge for today. And I'm simply going to share this thought with you. When Judas came and betrayed Jesus into the hands of the Roman soldiers and those who were about to crucify him, he could have done anything imaginable or unimaginable to Judas. He could have called down angels from heaven and put a stop to it right there. He could have met Judas with wrath and fear and anger. He could have met Judas with any number of emotions. I can only imagine the emotions that he felt because he was fully God and fully man. And yet we all know, most of us are familiar with the story, that when Judas comes and he betrays Jesus and kisses him on the cheek as a sign to those who have come to take him away, Jesus' response is simply, friend, why have you come? Friend, why have you come? He didn't say, well, you've crossed the line, Judas. I have nothing more to do with you. He didn't say, get away from me, you two-faced, selfish, crazy person. No, he met Judas in his sin, in the middle of Judas's worst moment to that point. Judas is living his worst moment in his life. And Jesus says, friend, why have you come? What are you doing here? Why have you come to this brink of destruction in your own life? Why have you brought yourself to this desperate, desperate and desperation, this place of desperation? Jesus had compassion. He had love towards Judas. From the beginning, he knew that Judas would betray and yet he showed love and compassion. Sisters, as we're finishing out this year, as we're about to start a brand new year, examine your life, examine your relationships, and figure out where it is that you need to be showing more compassion, where it is that you need to stop judging someone that is at rock bottom and simply be a friend. Simply be a friend. It doesn't matter if they are going to hurt you if they've already hurt you. Of course, we need to put up safeguards in our lives and relationships to some extent, but hurt and pain are part of love. We love, therefore we get hurt. That's who we are, especially if you're a minister's wife, pastor's wife in this group. You will get hurt along the way, along the journey that is ministry. You will get hurt. That doesn't mean you stop loving deeply. It doesn't mean you stop loving with open arms. It doesn't mean that you stop loving people when they're at their worst. Go read your reading passage for today. Thank you for joining me. I will see you again tomorrow, and we'll talk more about loving people. If no one's told you lately, you are loved, you are cherished, you are valuable, you have worth, and that worth is far above rubies. God bless you all.